Hey everyone, Linda here. Um, just uh, being raw and real today. I woke up today and was so inspired by one of my mentor, my dearest mentors, Beth Davis, who uh, I've been working on this intense project with for the last week. She, she did a video raw and live yesterday that just inspired me too to continue what I'm doing with this Facebook Alive and having fun with it, but sharing and getting out and being visible in the world. I was so inspired by her fact that she was inspired by by her friend and a uh, person that she got out and did it. And I'm so, I'm sharing the inspiration and passing it on today too, because, you know, coming off this big project we've been working on, uh, I realized that I felt, even though I was really tired and I and it was like, when I, like she said, one of the hardest, uh, or one of the hardest times she's ever worked in her life. I would agree. We've we've all been working really hard, but I feel so strong, and there's a st inner strength that occurs when when you step in and step up and step out, and, and when you're on purpose. And uh, it's kind of amazing to me that uh, uh, we can our inspiration with the people that we surround ourselves with and the people that we have close to us inspire us to transform our lives and that transformation can come from the simplest little things that uh, may not be perceived as transformation and I've been I was thinking about that and thinking about hey it's 4th of July happy 4th of July everyone uh, and hope everyone's out having fun and you might be watching this later because you're out having fun and uh, not watching your Facebook, which is probably what you ought to be doing. So, uh, but I wanted to I wanted to share too about um, how how just transformational little things and and the whole. She got me thinking about Independence and Independence Day, and uh, I tend to to hear things and then it starts this whole train of thought that about things and then, then I think oh I want to share that so I'm sharing it today um, and I've been been looking at how uh, I'm working with independence and that I'm a freedom advocate and that's why I love my mentors so much because they're fiercely freedom oriented and being surrounded and working with freedom oriented women and and people in general uh, but especially the women in my life uh, who it's interesting right now. I'm a transformational consultant. Uh, I do hands. I do. I'm a soul map reader. Uh, I, I look at the patterns, and I so I tend to look at patterns in my own life a lot. And uh, I work with across many different systems. I use hands. I use the cards. I use uh, different what I call blueprint systems to to really tap into what my mentor calls divine design, our divine design, and what that's all about, and how to be on purpose. And I've been feeling so much on purpose, and her, and when I work with Beth Davis, and when I work with my my dear uh, my, her friend, my friend now, and and, and my another mentor, Siddiqui Solray, you know, it's all about stepping out and stepping into a new level of visibility and being a leader, and uh, it's so inspiring, and I'm just feeling like really in gratitude and awe today about that inspiration, but this like, this whole idea about independence and how we're working with independence and it's of course you know we're fa I, I'm with this Facebook live thing I'm in my 60s I'm 66 a lot of my mentors and the women that, that I've surrounded myself with are in their 40s and the energy and the vitality I feel like I'm 40 inside so I'm I'm on a mission here kind of to reinvent elderhood and step into a new concept of, of being a spiritual elder this is what came to me today how to be a spiritual elder on purpose and uh, how to step into that grandmother, wise wis wisdom, grandmother role, uh, really be, you know, the concept of we really are the people we've been waiting for. And uh, how much I want to be in service to these two people as well, while I'm serving myself. And that grandmother, the whole idea of having a grandmother you can work with. Uh, and, and really embracing my elderhood. I'm a boomer. And it's been very interesting in this whole concept of independence and what independence really means. It really got me thinking. I've been really questioning why this election year has been so stimulating. 
what, what is it that's really gotten my, my juices flowing about this year and the candidates? And I, re I realized the other day that the election, what's going on with the election really mirrors my own internal situation, right? And what's going on with me internally, that it's just a mirror reflection of the who's going to, what attitude, what, what is going to come to the, you know, be at the top. Where am I really focusing? What are my core values? What, uh, what is really valuable to me? And I really value independence. I really value freedom. Uh, I really value integrity. I really value truth telling. Uh, I really value uh, the, some of the core issues that are showing up in our candidates, interestingly enough, because I kind of view people as reflections of our own attitudes. I'm going, okay, what does Bernie represent in me? What does, what does Hillary represent in me? What does Trump represent in me? And what's the interplay? The interplay between the three candidates right now is mirroring the interplay that I'm dealing with inside myself, interestingly enough. Uh, one of the things about looking at soul maps, you know, I, I look at Bernie's soul map, his astrology chart, his card chart. I look at, uh, I, although I don't have their palms to look at, which is oh, the Rosetta Stone, as far as I'm concerned, of the soul map systems. Uh, and being a scientific hand analyst, it's been really beneficial for me to help really understand my own divine design. And also, you know, I've been helping, able to help so many others. But, it, you know, I'm looking at the election, I've been going, what does Bernie represent? Why am I so drawn to Bernie? Why, why Bernie, not Hillary, not, not Trump? And what it really represents about the inner interaction. So we've got on this Freedom Independence Day, Bernie is all about freedom. <laughs> Bernie's all about independence freedom and serving and it's bigger than just me it's the we and I kind of missed the revolution when I was in the 60s because I kind of lived I was living up in Canada and we were like kind of like not as tuned in as what was going on in the states although I'm an American citizen I lived up in Canada during during those years and uh, uh, because my family had moved up there when I was younger and um, the in the whole reflection here on how can I use this to help me transform and then how can I share that and help others uh, give them a perspective to help them understand their lives better and for me it's like the three issues you know that I, I watch this interplay going on as going and, I, and the questions that have been coming up inside of myself about and then relative to me and my situation I'm going okay this is interesting when do I because I perceive Bernie as a truth teller as a visionary as inspiration, but also uh, the whole interplay between the three of them to me is the issue between the power of love versus the love of power. And I really see Bernie as being the, the person that is focused on the power of love, whereas, which I believe is my focus and, uh, and feel my focus is, and where the other two candidates are the, the power, the love of power more than the, than, than the power of love. Not to say that they don't have their loving parts, but just for me, this is what the, the issue represents. And which one's going to come to the fore? And the power of love, to me, always comes to the fore. And how do we support and stand in our own integrity, even when we feel like the choices were offered? Because a lot of people have been, you know, I've been talking to and saying, I don't think I'm going to vote. I can't, because I can't support the two candidates that look like they're going to end up running. I can't support that, so I'm not going to vote. And I've been going, but we need to vote because we worked hard for the right. It's the right to make a choice. It's the right to have our voice heard. To And it's important to keep having our voices heard and to exercise that particular right or that particular freedom that we've gotten at cost, especially women and especially minorities and especially the people that that work so hard with this. So how do we do that? When the choices seem to be like, I can't support either one, or it's a vote of voting for the lesser of two evils instead of voting for what you really want. So, you know, I mean, my solution to the dilemma is I'm going to definitely vote, but I'm going to vote. I'm going to write in Bernie. That way I can still exercise my, my, my right to choose and, and having my voice heard and count. And whether or not it actually does, doesn't matter. It's the fact is the more people that do it, the more we make the change. The more that, that change will happen if we get vocal, if we get out there, if we share something. I mean, if you, I'd love to hear other people's thoughts on this.
but this is this is kind of where I'm standing right now. And I just the inspiration. My, you know, I decided that this is my, my first installment of Raw and Real. You know, this is what I look like. You know, here's my hair. Here's my face. You know, here's who I am. And uh, that while in, you know we're all independently, uh, you know, we're working with freedom. We are also all interdependent. That working together, working in unity, working in harmony is also. Uh, that's what produces the inner harmony. The more we focus on creating harmony, unity, and balance, uh, and do our best and to look at all areas of life and how we're working with that, it keeps us reminded of how important it is our own well-being, our own balance, and vice versa. The more we focus on how am I in balance today? Am, are the choices I'm making based on my truths and my values, or are they based in ego? Uh, are egotistical because our ego is our I am. The ego is not a bad guy. So many people vilify the ego. Ego is our is our sense of identity. It's who we are. But the little e, the little e ego, is the one that, that wants what it wants, and you know, to hell with the consequences. Uh, we get you know, part of part of us staying on our spiritual path, and working. And like like Beth says, you know, it's like being spiritual doesn't make you better. It's just that you recognize it, that there's a bigger picture, and that in that bigger picture we all are connected, and our what our choices are affect ourselves. But it, there's a ripple effect, and that by us focusing on independence, like on this Independence Day, you know, our independence is being able to be strong and solid and whole within ourselves but recognizing that we can keep our sense of identity and still be in a group. And I know based on my birth chart, on my, one of my, my, my astrology soul map, part of my whole lesson this lifetime is being an independent individual within a group and not getting lost in the group energy where I lose me in the group. So there's, and that's just been this whole journey and it's been so amazing working with such amazing people and I so value it's only been in the last few years that I really worked with mentors and this concept of mentors I was always doing solopreneur and I'm I've just learned so much and I value every day the fact that that I have mentors now in my life and I have people that that I can mentor and that that there's a there's a a whole creation that's happening here and this is me I just wanted to share I get so many ideas and so thoughts, so many thoughts, and uh, I got so inspired by Beth that I decided I wanted to get out there, and Siddiqui's been encouraging me to get out there too, so I've, I'm jumping in and, and just being raw and real today and speaking from my heart and sharing some of my thoughts, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, so here I am, and happy Independence Day, and Glad you could all join me and whoever might be be listening. Uh, uh, you know, it means a lot that we have a support system and that we are interdependent in our independence, and that we can work together and play together and love each other and have that love wave going in a very practical, down-to-earth way because you know we've got to put it to action here in the physical plane so and it's in the journey is there's ups and downs but it's fun you know there's and i just today i just woke up feeling strong uh and i like this newfound sense of strength you know, beth's starting a new class on the chakra system in the hands and 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 you know for so many years i felt like i lived in the upper mental realms and i'm and i've got this newfound strength and groundedness that is staying even when I'm tired, even when I feel like I'm grieving, even when I feel like I'm joyful. There's this strength and groundedness that's there that uh, has been a long time coming. And now that I'm starting to identify it, I feel like I can share it and even be a better support to the people that I work with when I, uh, I'm just totally loving working with the soul prints and helping people find their life purpose as I've been finding mine. That's, I just feel on purpose with that. And and now I sound like I'm rambling a bit and I know because I'm kind of tired today, but wanted to get out there and share it anyway. So love you all.
uh, keep on keeping on and uh, uh, stay in touch and, and let's stay connected because the more we stay connected with each other that's another thought that's just incoming these incoming thoughts just happen all the time the more connected we stay with each other the more connected we are internally and the more connected we are internally the more connected we are with each other and connection is the key there's a key communication and connection that's how we create a change and right now the world needs us the world needs a change and uh, it's uh, like Bernie talks about the revolution it's not just Bernie the revolution is change is a coming and we can either fight it or we can be a part of creating it and I'm kind of been choosing to be out there and create help create it so love you care about you uh, know that you're supported uh, Reach out if you want. Uh, that's my thoughts for today. Now I'm going to head out and have some more fun and relax a little bit, even more today, and take care of some things. And uh, hope you're all doing the same. Love you. Have fun. Bye for now.